Richard and Alan take the rescued princess to a ship bound for the homeland. They are unaware that the treacherous Langdon has sent them into a deadly trap. I do not believe that, and I will see that justice is done. Swine. I'll have them one by one, or even two by two. Better save your strength, Alan. You may need it. You must do something, Richard. Send word to your friend Langdon. Our association with him, you remember, is secret. But it's time to be done with secrecy when honest men are thrown into jail. Ah, be patient, Alan. Langdon will hear of this. He'll manage something. We'll wait a while. Then act on our own. Well, is it done? The fugitives were taken prisoner. Why? Were my orders ignored? The captain said they were unarmed. He could not order his guards to slay unarmed men. The tender sentiment. Not worthy of a soldier. There was another reason. What was it? The great mogul's daughter was a witness. She insists she will complain to the governor about the attack on the men who rescued her from the pirates. Our pact with these young men must remain secret until Lord Belmore arrives as colonial governor. Only then will we be on safe ground. Meanwhile, Richard Dale may decide to speak up. I thought of that. But I shall speak first to the present governor. Have my carriage brought up. Yes, sir. There's been a grave mistake. I thought it would reach your ears. When it did, I went immediately to the governor. At my suggestion, he signed an order for your release. What of the princess? We delivered her aboard the Lorraine. She's in good hands. And now you'll proceed at once with your original mission. Which is the proof of Captain Kent's piracy. Yes. I suggest that you leave New York without delay. Otherwise, you may be called before a magistrate. Our plan is to sign on a ship that'll take us near Captain Kent's haunts. The details I leave to you. I'm sure you need funds. Yes, we should replenish our wardrobes. And we need weapons. I'll await your further report. And now, good fortune. 
Brother wishes fair weather. Find Captain Thew the pirate. He'll be aboard the Barkentine Argus. Tell him I want those two Shanghai tonight. Recruits for the good ship Argus, Captain Thu. Do you want to go to sea, do you? When I do, I'll choose the ship. Not a hulk like this with cutthroat two passes seamen. That's an ugly way to start service on my ship. I'll teach him politeness, Captain. Stand clear and you can have a try it. Play that. You will learn this before this voyage ends. I'll find work to pick that fire out of them. No. Put them in irons until we clear ports. After that, we will have plenty of time to make good seamen out of them. Kid 
as pirates finished off that troop of redcoats. They bragged about it long and loud when they got back to the adventure galley. Are you sure all this happened? Didn't I tell you I sailed with Kid? And that wasn't the first raid he made, nor would it be the last. That's enough stories for one night, sailor man. Are you still itching to get to Kid? Tonight, we'll sleep on it. Let tomorrow take care of itself. It's never been clean. You're refusing to obey orders? You were ordered to work! his crew. You're a weakling, Devery. Mr. Dale, take over as mate of the Argus. Aye, sir. Part of the men back to work, Mr. Dale. To your stations, all of it. Will Captain Kidd be faced with mutiny on his own craft? 
Be sure to see Captured by Captain Kidd, the fourth action chapter of the great adventures of Captain Kidd, at this theater next week.